with the. the yeah, the hat looks good. Yeah, 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 looks good. yeah there's no, it doesn't shade your eyes. Okay. Kirby Moreau with TBA. Yeah, that's it. Um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what do you play in the movie and how would you uh, describe your role exactly? I play a character called Dick Nolan. I'm a reporter. Um, I uh, don't always tell the truth. Um, I kind of massage the stories a little bit. Um, I'm tabloid. I'm, I'm gossip. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> and, <laughs> it is, and it's a stretch from who you are, who, who likes to say the truth. Well, I think we all, we're all, we can all be accused of gossiping. <laughs> That's um, true. And uh, I think uh, any, uh, anybody who enjoys stories, uh, sometimes you, you massage it a little bit just to make it entertaining. Mm -hmm. Before they ask you to play in the movie, did you hear about Margaret Keane and all this story? All I knew was her art, but I didn't really know anything more. Uh -huh. and, I, and I knew that I didn't particularly like it. Uh, um, I found it very sentimental. Uh -huh. um, and um, uh, in the process of being involved in this film, um, I now see it in a different way. Uh -huh. So Keane was no artist, but he was a pretty good businessman, we have to say. Yeah, I mean, he had artistry <laughs> in his business. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and the uh, concept of creating poster art is, uh, is a pretty hip uh, concept. And I think he felt, um, which is why he believed in his own lie, that he created her. Uh, hence, he created her art. Uh, and without him, um, she would never be known. Mm -hmm. Playing... Uh, late 50s, uh, 60s character, how did you uh, enjoy that? Uh, I, I enjoyed it, certainly enjoyed it, and um, uh, really the, uh, the big enjoyment for me, apart from the, the, the period, was uh, working with Tim Burton. Tim Burton, how can we describe working with him? My experience was a, a gentleman, a gentle man, um, somebody who was always present, caring, engaged, would laugh at things that you, that you were doing that he thought were funny and just made you feel very much at home. If you, you felt like a, like a, a, a guest and, and, and he was just a, a kind host. You know? Amy Adams? Amy Adams and, and Christoph, uh, uh, I just felt like I was with my friends in a living room and we were chatting and then the cameras would start running and we'd shoot the scene and the scene would be over and I'd be, oh, that was an enjoyable <laughs> afternoon. <you know? laughs> because it's a, it's a tragic uh, story, but it's a funny movie. It, it's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm very much looking forward to seeing it with an audience tomorrow night um, to see how that humor plays. Um, but I, yes, I find it funny and I find that I find that uh, Christoph's characters is engaging and colorful, and, and most grand manipulators are. Yeah. yeah. Being an actor, you have to manipulate, in a way, your audience. Would you say that? <laughs> yes. I think it's, I think it's, it's, sto it's storytelling, you know, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a primal thing. And you start, you know, it stems from telling stories around a campfire or in a cave and casting shadows on the wall and exaggerating things, uh, but also feeling engaged, engaged with it so that uh, the people that you're telling the story believe that it's actually happening. Mm -hmm. She's looking at me, she's looking at you though, with those big eyes. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit scary. I don't, uh, it is. Yeah. I do, I do. I find them, I find them a little... I mean, I, before this film, I, I dismissed them as sentimental. Um, now uh, they have a, a, something, something harrowing, and, 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 uh, and I get lost. I get lost in those eyes. Thank you very much, and nice work. Well, thank, thank you. you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, merci. Bye-bye.